Always difficult to be last. On the other hand, you know, it's, a, it's easy in a way that uh, we were equally good in managing our time. And probably you had more questions, which is a good thing. But you cannot blame us for the delay. So you see, it was a consulting uh, example how we never blame ourselves. It's always someone else. So let me just uh, quickly, if this is going to work, take you through what we saw today and uh, maybe to give you an idea or as we say in English, food for thought, um, how do we get rid of everything which we saw today? So, you know, learning at the end is a little bit tedious, you know, we don't really like it. We do it because we have to most of us. Uh, or we do it because somebody told us to. So we saw some academical uh, presentations about the trends uh, from Christina, from Mr. Videko, how the university actually can uh, approach the e-learning and uh, documentation issues around, uh, around that. I think both of these are very interesting. Um, I guess uh, we always want to have something like the bigger picture, which wraps up everything, which we show you as tools and techniques. But I guess for most of you, the interesting part was actually the real life examples, which you heard uh, from Nadia from Global. I think that was an amazing presentation. Uh, we were not. Uh, in any how connected with the fact that you have to stand up and do some exercise. But you will remember this for the next time. Um, you've seen the presentation from Mr. Wagner, <coughs> which uh, I think he is uh, one of the exemplary clients who need something like the tools that we are presenting. Uh, because they have many offices around the world and they have many different clients and basically doing it uh, with the manpower is nearly impossible. We've seen uh, the presentation which uh, I very, very much like. There are, of course, uh, different opinions about that, but uh, you see the experienced people usually tend to go away from everything like tools, software, and stuff because they know that it doesn't matter how fancy tool we give you, you don't know how to use it, you don't have the right approach, and you don't follow some structured methodology. Usually what comes out might be very nice looking animation, but at the end, so, from Mr. Nestorov, very methodically driven presentation. And uh, what I also wanted to say at the end of the real life examples is I would encourage everybody who is interested in this and has some doubts uh, to start simple, like uh, it. If you have some specific problem which you want to solve, start simple, you know, ask for the service, don't buy everything immediately. And you will see if it works for you, if it works for your environment. And also, you will be able to get a little bit more buy in internally because we all have to sell internally our ideas. Uh, I have the privilege that I don't have to sell my ideas. I can push them, but then it comes back. Um, so, we give you an overview of the tools. I think uh, very nice end with the course bookshop. Um, because I would love to get some bookshop where I can get the interculture communication setting. For example, when I'm flying somewhere, it doesn't have to be to China. <laughs> so, you know, very briefly, you've seen all this. Um, you've seen that we can give you the knowledge uh, in the bigger pieces, in the smaller pieces. We can help you to create the courses if you want. And we can basically give you the courses on whatever device you want in principle. But of course, the convenience is different on different uh, types of the devices. So Android is not so convenient as iPad. But I'm saying it as an iPad user. So for me, it's OK. <laughs> but I know I have a lot of friends who can use the I'm sure Android is an expert. Um, and I think one of the very interesting presentations which you had a chance to see, and thank you for example, 
was that uh, doesn't matter the cost. You know, the mind is without limits. If you really want something, you are usually able to achieve it. If you really believe in something, sometimes, or, or probably looking at it, I should say, always happens. It's just different when it happens. Uh, for her, it works very well. You know, she wants to meet someone from Coca-Cola and immediately hits the guy on the first table and hits from Coca-Cola. <laughs> I think it takes a little bit of learning because it's been there sometimes at the But now she's very good at that. And uh, if we would actually stay with her uh, and her way of doing things, we wouldn't need anything else. Um, but I want to give you a little bit of a perspective because you know, we are IT people here. I'm not coming from myself, I'm not IT, but I spend so much time in IT that everybody believes I am. Uh, and uh, you know, I like the future pictures, they always show something very dramatic. But I want to lead you to the dramatic end with a little of the statistics, which is real. So, you know, you all know that uh, all the devices which we have, basically, are getting smaller and smaller. Um, it's a commonly known fact that uh, first computers were probably the size of this building, then it got to the size of this room. And we are getting now the size of uh, whatever you want, basically. I mean, the size doesn't matter. You will soon get to the point that uh, any computer powerful enough to actually operate on itself will be in the size of the blood cell or anything around that size in your body. Uh, which basically means there is a lot of implication which you can make out of that. Um, Probably, you know, we can have computers uh, within our body, maybe helping us uh, with tedious tasks like learning. Um, somebody who, you know, I think you might know the name Kurzweil, as a guy who came up with the term singularity. He wrote a book in which he basically argues a lot of facts that uh, Statistically, you know, the trends, the technological change in the world is speeding up. I think, said plainly like this, everybody would agree. I mean, everybody who doesn't agree. Now. Yeah, easy. You have to pick the right question, there is no opposition. <laughs> so, so the guy is basically saying that uh, according to his projections, and of course we can argue about the time and everything, but according to his projections, the speed of the change within 20, 30 years will be so fast that we as a human will not be able to cope with it. Meaning, it doesn't matter how great tools we give you, if you still have to produce the learning and then somebody has to learn it, in the time when you will do that, everything you learn is obsolete. It's changed. Here, the things change by that. And because of that, he believes that the only way how we can actually survive and keep up with the trends is that we enhance ourselves. Not in a way as uh, an Atal showed us, that with your mind you can actually access all the knowledge around the world, but with the technical devices. Small computers in your brain, um, small uh, computers in your body which fight your viruses. This, for example, could be the enhancement in your brain. You know that the brain and learning takes place when the connections are created. Now imagine you now take the electric, take the electric, you learn the stuff, you try it, and the connection is great. Now imagine you have uh, little machines like this, which actually, whenever you need, create the right connection for you. So you already know the language. Then you go to China, you download the course, not on the iPad of course, you download it here, and you speak Chinese. Imagine you want to learn karate or you want to learn cooking like I would. Or of course you would have a small device which would protect your body. Otherwise, it's, uh, and uh, taking it further is all the power, 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 the power,
възможности да може да се декодира ДНК, нещо, което е много близо до от техническа гледна точка, ние в състояние да променим нещата, защото ако знаем как Четата информация във вашето тяло са свързани. Ние ще бъдем в състояние да променим тук и там нещичко. Вчера използвах един пример. Примерно Рената не иска руса храна, а руса коса иска черна. Тя просто идва, аз я включвам в компютъра, променям нейната ДНК и след седмица тя вече е брюнетка. Но разбира се, ние ще говорим за по-сложни неща, не като такива прости неща, като не е така коса. Всъщност, вие можем да стигнем до точката, до момента, в който нашата ДНК ще бъде перфектна. Може би няма да умираме, защото нашето тяло ще се възобновява за няколко седмици. Или непрекъснато ще се възобновява. Всъщност, единствената причина, преди която умираме, е тази, че за някои хора има един ключ. Или пък защото някои вече са уморени да бъдат тук и по двата начина ние технологично можем да предотвратим това. Цялата статистика всъщност е реална и тя е базирана на реални цифри. И ако някой чете статистика, Знаете, че статистиците с помощта на цифрите могат да ви предадат резултатите, които искате. Моята идея обаче е, която искам да запомните едно нещо. Моята идея е, разбира и вчера обсъждахме дълго това в Скопия. Моята идея е, така, искам един чип, който да усили моята памет, примерно, искам да запомни вашите имена и лица. Обаче, казват, че това е възможно в възможно. Този чип ще помогне, възможно е да се направи обучение. Нека да направим един download на нашия мозък в един компютър и този компютър може да произведе машини, които са много мощни. Защо? Точно, но съжалявам не чух какво каза момчето. Но това е една много голяма картина, защото всеки се чувства така малко притеснен да бъде такъв. Както виждате, доста грозничък, огромна глава. Всички тези компютърни неща Нека да си представим, че сингулярността, която ще се случи с машините, ще стане в 2010 година и след това идва един човек, който изключва и в крайна сметка какво става. Това, което искам аз е да ви благодаря за това, че бяхте толкова храбри и смели, за да останете до края и смятам, че вън можем да побърборим още малко, да пинем по нещичко и всичко, за което се интересувате, просто потърсете този, който искате от нас, за да можем да ви обясниме това, което искате. И искам да благодаря на нашите прекрасни лектори и се надявам, че вие ще смятате, че вашия след обед не беше предприятие. Благодаря ви наистина за търпението и за проверените на Чаша Вино.